This is Twit. Line two, Jack, West Monroe, Louisiana. Hello, Jack. Uncle Leo, how are you doing? I am well. How are you? Just fine. Good. How's the I'm How's the crawfish? To, uh, uh, the, the season just started, so they're pretty small right now. Give us a couple of months, we'll have some bombs. Mm. I'm gonna come over for a boil. <laughs> we do it. Oh, I bet you do. Mm. What can I do for you today? I have a problem. I have a budding geek in the family who is ten years old. Awesome. And and the only problem with that is with me being one and him being one, it gets kind of expensive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? I would get a ten-year-old geek. I would look at the raspberry pie. Really? Uh, what is he interested in? Well, right now our current problem is Fortnite. I'm sure. Oh, you know. Lord above. Yeah. Oh, Lordy, Lordy. <laughs> you can't play Fortnite in a Raspberry Pi, unfortunately. <laughs> well, a lot of 10-year-olds love Minecraft, and a Raspberry Pi is a great device for Minecraft. Not so hot for Fortnite. That's a, That takes a little bit more horsepower, I'm afraid. Right. He's gone through the Minecraft phase, and now he's in the Fortnite. Darn it. Um, we, we should have caught him when he was still in the Minecraft phase. <laughs> yeah, Fortnite is all the rage. It's easily the number one game out there right now, not just with uh, youngsters, but everybody. It's a great, it's fun. So does he need a Fortnite device? Is that what he's, you're looking for? Well, he's, he plays it on both platforms, PS4 and uh, Xbox. Oh, man, you are a geeky family. Okay. But now he wants a computer to play it on as well. Well, the good news is Fortnite works on Mac and PC, so you've really got uh, you know plenty of choices. And it isn't super demanding. In order to get that working, for instance, on an iPhone, an iPad, uh, I think they've yeah they've released the Android version now. It doesn't. It yeah. can you can play it on on pretty low end hardware. So um, you don't need to spend more than say five hundred dollars on a laptop to play Fortnite. I'd say. I'm pretty sure a 10-year-old laptop is going to get the computer infected with all kinds of viruses. Oh, he is. Guarantee yeah. you. Yeah, and unfortunately, you can't play Fortnite on a uh, Chromebook, which would be the yeah. safest option for him. Yeah. Uh, it might, you know, Apple's got an event coming up on the 30th. They might announce new Mac laptops. Maybe the rumor is, and I think there's strong indication that they're, one of them will be uh, of less expensive for schools, which means sub one thousand dollars. But Mac stuff is still really, really expensive. Um, right. So you you know your best bet is a inexpensive Windows device. Uh, you could almost certainly um, lock it down for him by first of all making sure he doesn't have access to the administrator account. That'll right. keep him from installing stuff. You know, just set it up as a Fortnite machine. You could even make it so Fortnite launches when he turns on the machine and <laughs> nothing else does. Uh, okay. I don't think you need to go that far. Minimum uh, for a Fortnite, you need, it will actually run on a Core i3 processor. Uh, okay. I would suggest an i5 for best results. Eight gigs of RAM. Uh, it's nice. You can run it on Intel graphics, but if you can get an inexpensive NVIDIA or a AMD Radeon card in there, it'll make a big difference. It doesn't have to be a fancy one. It could be a six right. a GTX six sixty, something like that. I think for five, six hundred bucks you get a pretty nice PC that would be more than adequate for Fortnite. Because he had he has me take him to Best Buy at least once a week. <laughs> and we go we, <laughs> and we go back to the gaming laptop or the gaming computers which are you know, twelve, thirteen hundred dollars, and I said, Jackson, there's no way in the world to spend thirteen hundred dollars on the computer for no. you to play Fortnite. So for you to play Fortnite. On the other hand, you definitely want to encourage a ten year old to continue with his interest in computers. Oh, and, right. absolutely. Because you know, and sometimes people say, Well, he's just gaming, he's not doing anything creative. Yeah, but that's how we all started. That's how we all started. Um Gaming is, you know, the gateway drug. It's how I got started, and I, you know, and I got more and more interested. And eventually, wanted to write software, and that makes a, a big difference. I was just reading uh, about uh, a guy named Paul Buchheit who wrote Gmail. He worked at Google, he was employee thirty-two at Google. He's very wealthy today, and because uh, he sold his uh, startup friend feed to Facebook, and he started because he was playing a role-playing game. 
and he couldn't get an item in the game, and it made him mad, so he figured out a way to hack the database to get the item, and then he realized he could put any item he wanted in, and it, <laughs> it turned him into a programmer. So there you go. there's nothing wrong <laughs> with a kid wanting to play Fortnite. <laughs> but I do stand by this recommendation of a Raspberry Pi. It's $35.00. It will get him into. You can get him into programming through it. One of the things, if you if you'd caught him with Minecraft, there is a version of Minecraft on here that's programmable via Python. And 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 if a kid's still into Minecraft, uh, and I bet he has some still vestigial interest, to tell him, well, you know what you can do with Minecraft. You can build a dynamite bridge and then blow it up, or you can have a one button house that you build. You design it in Python, the programming language, and then you just say, build my house, and it goes. Brrr. There's so many fun things you can do. In fact, there's a wonderful book from No Starch Press on uh, computer programming with Minecraft that is a great book. He's a, you know, it's really aimed probably more at a, a 12 or 13 year old, but I think he's, he sounds like he's fairly sophisticated. So and he's really good at spending my money. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, good. That's what I want to know. Thank you so much. Hey, my, my great pleasure. Thank you for uh, calling there. You know, I guess we're getting to the, st the, the stage now where uh, you'll be able to play Many games, and certainly Fortnite will be one of them, very, very popular game. It's a battle royale game. On almost any device, Sony, Google, uh, Microsoft, they're all working on systems that have the computer in the server, the computer in the cloud doing the rendering, the hard work. And then your dumb little device doesn't even have to have much horsepower at all all it does have to be connected to the internet will play the game and we're going to see those microsoft announced theirs uh last week but it won't be out till next year sony's already got something similar you're going to see these streaming game systems uh, and at that point you'll be the answer to this question this by next year certainly this time next year will be oh yeah all you need is a you know a 12 dollar doohickey and you can play Fortnite because you're playing it on the server. The downside will be, of course, and this is why Microsoft, Google, and other companies are interested in it, is you'll have to pay a monthly subscription fee. Everybody wants to move to the subscription fee. That is every company in technology now like prefers to get, and that's a shame, but it's the way it is, prefers to get that monthly annuity and, and as opposed to one big chunk payment. Actually, if, if they could, they'd get a chunk payment and a monthly annuity. <laughs> Maybe that's the, that's the future.